Hey, Biff, what's up, man? Cool. Factory five, red. That's me. All right, send it. I'll look at it, I'll make a number, and I'll decide what we'll do. Either buy it, consign it, trade it, we'll figure it out. It's always easy. All right, later, bro. Biff sent me in a red DC Cobra. I love it. I want to find out what to pay him, the right price, but it'll be cool. I got it. You know Bill's coming over from CTNT, right? Oh, perfect. So he knows you know, a lot about this, huh? He builds them. He ought to know, right? That's great. Come take a look at it. Yeah. Take okay. it from there. Yeah. Cool. Sometimes you come up with some great ideas. I got a phone in my car and I'm on the run. I know what it takes to be number one. And I'll be riding high when the day is done. I'm just out here having fun. I've been buying, selling, and trading classic cars for 40 years. I work here with my beautiful wife, Robin. We make a great team. Some people call it work, but for us, it's a whole lot more. I'm Ted Vernon, and this is my place, South Beach Classics. Yeah. Do you sell sand? I don't know, like beach sand? All right, well, this is what I need. The name of my company is South Beach Classics, and I want to basically create a beach in the middle of a city. So I need a lot of sand. There's always photographers in our in our facility taking pictures with models and we're constantly running cars out all the time. So I want to basically take it to next level. We have a great facility for it. We have all the cars, of course. And it's it's a no-brainer. Now, just to be clear, is the sand like white, white, white? Oh, yeah, because if it's not white, I don't want it. Okay. Fantastic. We're not necessarily on South Beach. So basically, I'm going to create South Beach here. We're on the first causeway right off the highway, and I've painted things pink and green and kind of art deco-y, and we still need sand. We need sand and beach chairs and fun stuff to make it all come together. My friend Lou has sent his daughter Zoe down from Belgium to buy some funky cars or movie cars. I'm not sure exactly what, but you know, he always has an eye for the uh, unusual, so we'll see what she's gonna do. I'm looking forward to dealing with her. I think she'll be easier than Luke. Hi, Zoe. Hi, baby. Aw. Uh, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Well, look how great you look. My goodness. Thank you. And you're not with Lou, huh? No, he's not around today. He was busy. So what can I help you with? Are you looking for cars? Or? The last time we came, you know, for the other deal, yeah. we spotted a couple of Beatles, actually. We're looking for fun cars. Fun cars to drive during the summer, to drive in Australia, I don't know. Beetles are great. They are, they Come are, on. they're really flexible cars. I'll show you some stuff. We are looking for funny cars, like something to make, to make, maybe to make rent with it and to make movie clips. And so we are really looking for something unique and funny. Over the years, Lou's probably bought 20 cars for me, from Auburns to Rolls Royces to limousines to police cars, all kinds of stuff. Um, he's a very well-known entertainer in his country, and because of who he is, he rents the cars out for everything from weddings to movies, and it works good for him. Well, I got an unusual beetle. You do? Yeah, a very unusual beetle. Wow. This one's funny. It's funny. Yeah, it is. Um, it's totally custom, and you can't tell the front from the back, because back and front have the same thing in the hood. Oh, my God, he's got a tail. Is that great? Yeah. It's just a toy car. Yeah. You know, they sell a little wind-up key for the back. You can put it on the back and wind it up, and it spins when you drive it. Isn't it great? Yeah. This it's one, amazing. Yeah. I spotted that one the other time. Did you? It was, yeah, 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 oh, I did. Cool. I like the color of this one. Convertible. Yeah, it's convertible. That's what I'm looking for. Same owner since, uh, like, 1986. Same family. Oh, I like it. Wow, that's a cool car. This is cool. So you're down to the two convertible BWs, and I want to sell them to you. They're 8,500 each. I know. What would you like to do? Well, since they are convertible, that means, you know, you have- They should be more money. No, because you have less things on it. It's less just- things. Like, it's open. You See? reason like your father. I know I do. I priced them at 8,500, which is pretty fair. Um, I'm sure I can sell them for 75 a piece. I'm sure she'll pay less. 
but you know they're really really close friends of mine and I'm going to give them the best deal I can without losing money. I'll say 11,000. I would say no. <laughs> okay. I, I think they're 8,500 each. Give me seven a piece, and that's 14,000, and I make a little money. Expensive. That's I am here to make a living. Well, if I get them for six thousand dollars, it's going to be a good deal. Like this car, I like timeless, so six thousand is good. Come on, Ted. I know you for years now. I know you since you were born. How about? Twelve thousand. Look at you. Would that make you happy? Totally. Totally. Yeah. Sure. Twelve thousand. Mwah. I thought I was going to be harder with Ted, but he's quite easy, actually. Especially when you know him. That's the thing. Honestly, I think she was very, very fair with me. And I think we both leave happy. I don't want to. I don't need to, to, to retail her. Her and her dad have bought so many cars. And he's my friend. I'm happy she's happy. It's all good. Bill is the owner at ct and in Virginia. I bought some Cobra Kid cars from him, and they really sell fast. You know, I want you to look at this Cobra for me. Uh, I really want your opinion, because I wanna, I'm want i making a swap, a deal, if I can. I wonder what you think. It's a factory five car. I want you to give me the good and the bad. I want you to tell me your opinion. And I'm going to give him this unfinished car that I have and 16 grand for the finished car that I got from him. Uh, the Factory 5 cars sell well. They're nice little cars, but Factory 5 is basically a donut car, which means the parts that you use on the Factory 5 come Mustangs. from a Mustang, as opposed to an uh, off-the-shelf new part. I don't think I've ever gotten hurt with a Cobra. Everyone just loves the body style, and they're fun cars. You know, even with no top, they're fun cars. studio came into play over the fact that we're constantly being asked to rent our classic cars. They're constantly being driven directly to A1A, which is the beach. And I figured, why don't we build the beach here? Yep, she's building a beach. Uh, Ted has no idea what's going on. We're bringing in truckloads of uh, boxes of different kinds of uh, chairs and beach things and balls and all these sandals and things that she wants. And we're just sneaking in here. We tend to leave Ted out of the picture until it's complete. Robin has her way of doing things, and apparently it works well, because once it's done, it's done, and there's not pretty much anything you can do about it, so <laughs> it's taken care of. We have a gentleman coming in that's specifically looking for a 1939 Ford Deluxe convertible. Ford introduced it as above and beyond the standard Ford Deluxe car. I've been looking at this car for a long time. It was right before the war took place, so it's got a lot of great features that uh, changed. And I want to buy the car right now. It's a beautiful car, and I think I can do it today. Hey, Bruce. I'm so glad you made it. Hey, Robin. How are you? Good. How long have you been here? Oh, about 10 minutes. Looking around. It looks really good. It looks excellent. I got a question for you. Uh -huh. Is everything original? Like I said, the interior's not. Okay. It's obviously a newer interior. This is not from 1940. Um, originally, it was leather. It's now like a pleather, which is which is better for standards. You've got kids at home. Okay. You don't want to put them It'll in leather. Clean and easier. Also convertibles, right. exactly, okay. exactly. Um, steering wheel's original. Dash has been modified. I think it pro looks like probably 10, 15 years ago, and I don't know if that's 100% original. I have a question for you, though. Yeah. The picture that you sent me, the undercarriage. Uh huh. There was a spot on the undercarriage that looked like something had happened. And I noticed that. Yeah. And I expressed that to my body guy, Jay. Right. And I said, Jay, look, let's put on a lift. Let's cut it out. It was an older weld that was there that okay. somebody had, had previously done. So we're going to cut it out and repair it. It's about six inches big, and don't worry about it. Bruce is asking the right questions on the car. He's educated himself quite well. He's, he's searched all over online, all over the country. It's not the first one he's looked at. Um, so he's not the easiest, but he's super excited. So I, I sense a lot of weakness as far as the price is concerned, and he's definitely leaving with the car today. That looks great. I mean, everything looks looks perfect. I it know looks you're excellent. I really want this. Um, can we talk money? Yeah, sure. He's made you know offers on the telephone. I said, Bruce, look, bring money, come in and make a real offer and take this beauty home. I want this car, and I know she thinks I'm a sucker because I'm excited about it. But I don't, it's not about the money. This is the last one available here. I want to get this car. If I got to pay a thousand or two more, it's not going to kill me. I want the car. I want to sell you the car, but you have to come at least close to my asking price. Okay. You're asking what? 68. Okay. 
I'm offering you 60 right now. I can't, absolutely not. I have another buyer that's bought all of these deluxe convertibles and I, unfortunately, I've got to answer to Ted. I've got to get close to his asking price. Now, what's the best you can deal? What's the best price you can give me now? 64. 64, come on, seriously. You know I'm gonna buy it right now. I got everything, the papers works in order, everything's ready to go. I'll go to 61, 61, right now, right here. You know what, I'll, I'll tell you what. You, you came, you traveled down here, you've been looking for these cars all over the country. I wanna sell you the car. What I can do for you today, but no haggling, 62. Okay, you know what? 62 it is. Good. Thank you. You'll truly enjoy it. All the deals should definitely be that easy. Bruce was fun to work with. He was super enthusiastic. And you know what? I have a feeling that if I would have kept him to the, the asking price, he probably would have faded. $1,000 isn't going to kill anybody. This is the last one they have. i got to get this car. I've been researching this thing for months. I want it. They're good people. I want the car today. Now. It's my birthday gift. I don't have time to wait for this. I could die tomorrow. With Bruce's enthusiasm, it just makes it easy to close him. It's, 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 it's a bit of a weakness. But at the same time, you know, he's going to enjoy it, so I don't feel bad doing it. I'm really not big on experts, but when it comes to Cobra cars, this guy Bill eats and breathes them. And I'm thinking of making a trade or a buy or a consignment, I'm not really sure. But this guy sent me this Cobra, and I want Bill's opinion. The kit cars have a tremendous advantage over the older cars. Number one, most importantly, they're much safer. They have uh, the disc brakes all around, but they also have the option to uh, build a car to your taste. If you want a car with air conditioning, you can get air conditioning. If you like power steering, you can get power steering. If you want a top, we can put a top on the car for you. If you have a $2 million Cobra, you're gonna be a little reluctant to go out on a Sunday afternoon and drive it around. Uh, if you've got a $50,000 Cobra from us, you're gonna have a lot of fun come Sunday afternoon. All right, well, let's start at the front here. It's got something I see already I like. See the screens in here? Yes, sir. That's, that's a good attention to detail. That's the brake scoop. That enhances the value right there. These are nice. That's, that's all stainless. Mm -hmm. That enhances the value. And we've got the 17-inch wheels. The reason for 17-inch wheels is it allows you to have a bigger brake rotor. So count. It also, it sits a little nicer with a bigger tire. Right. One thing, we, we have tried the chrome pipes. But you see the discoloration? All chrome pipes, when they run we'll for any length of time, will discolor. So what we do is we get the side pipes, we get them ceramic coated, and then we come on here with a stainless steel shield. That way, you don't get any discoloration, but you get the shield from the heat of got the pipe it. when you got get it. out. This I don't like. These are inch and a half. Uh, we use two inch, and what we do is put a standard 10 and a half inch height with a five degree rollback, uh, which we replicates use two or one. We only use one. But, but Ted, our, our emphasis is in replicating right. the original Cobras. I got you, and, and the two is definitely not right. right. The two, they never had two. This is what we call a stock interior. It comes in black. This is a very well done interior though. You see all the trimmings here uh, on the door panel. That's, that's nice. In our cars at CTT, what we do is we coordinate the interior color with the exterior color of our car. This. I think you like what you see there. This is the 427 body style car. Right. These cars, some came with 427s, some came with 428s, and some came with a 289. So this small block motor was originally in the car, in, in some of the cars. The advantages to the small block motor is the weight over the front end. Uh, it, it, it brings the weight down. The second advantage to them is the heat. These small blocks don't put out nearly as much heat. The rest of the car itself is really done well. You've got stainless uh, steering column here. Um, uh, overall, I'd say this car is a nice car. I offer the gentleman that owns the red Cobra 16 grand and the white Cobra, which is really fair because he'll fix the other car and I'll sell it for him and I'll own that one, I'll sell it for me. The car I've got over there is, is far from a CT&T car. It's a street beast, which is low end, but it's got the big 427 motor, which is not low end. And being this is a friend of mine who built this car, he really builds them. He can do that car, he told me he can. I offered him 16 in this car. That's what I think is fair. I agree. I think so. It's a good deal for both of you. you know, everybody has to come out happy, and I think that's a fair deal. After Bill looked at the Red Cobra, he figured out it was worth probably what I thought. It was about the condition I thought. So pretty much it was on the money with me. The deal that we talked about today with Ted is a very good deal for both Ted and his customer. It works out unusually well, I think, because Ted can have something on his showroom floor that will retail, and the customer can take the other part of the car and do what he likes doing, which is assembling them. This is 
is Evan. Evan's Evan, here. Nice There's to meet you. Me. He'll be the one to rent the beach studio for the first time. I'm doing a, a fashion shoot for a summer clothing line, so oh, I was cool. looking for a beach scene. Uh, apparently you guys have a great space, and mm -hmm. I also need some fantastic cars as well. Okay. And I understand you guys have some great cars. We have over 360 cars here for you oh, to wow. choose from. Uh, what kind of car were you interested in? Uh, I could use two or three cars, most likely. Uh, something okay. pretty beachy. Okay. So I was thinking maybe something like a Volkswagen, Volkswagen Bug, um, maybe a Jeep. So we could put some of the models in the Jeep. You know exactly what to do. Perfect car for yeah. you. But you know, car. yeah. But you know what, Veronica? I wouldn't worry too much. Don't don't delve into that. Get the Volkswagen up there. Get get a few car related Absolutely. things, colorful, not black. And if not. I'm gonna send him home with this inventory sheet. There are 400 cars, and just pop up there on the sand for oh, that's you. Perfect. Do you need a pickup truck? Put the models in the back, or different oh, wow. different scenes. You have a lot of inventory to go through. That's awesome. That'll help me out tremendously. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you both so much. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Okay, great. <laughs> Killing me. Hey, hey, Willie. Ted, how are you? How you doing, brother? Spoke to you on the phone. Yeah, man. How you doing? How you doing? I knew it was you by the trail of smoke. <laughs> <laughs> I know Ted's got a lot of nice cars out here, and I thought I'd uh, come by and see him and uh, see if I could sell him a nice car that we have from the pawn shop. If Willie's bringing it, Willie robbed it. Because, you know, they only lend 25% of the value on a car. So, you know, he's probably in it for five grand, maybe, or, you know, four or five grand. So I'll be able to buy that car right where I can resell it. Hardly any rust on the car at all. It's very, very clean. You got these? No Bondo. She's in good shape. Would you say no Bondo? No Bondo that I can find. And again, you're the expert, so well, <laughs> that's it could be future Bondo. Could be. It's, maybe it's Acme. It's a 1969. Grand Prix, original engine. It's got uh, original paint. We, have, we put a brand new interior in it. I think this car would sell well around 12 grand, but that might be a little high number. I mean, I'm willing to go a little bit lower, but not much lower. The car is very clean. Why are you selling it? Well, I own a pawn shop with my brother, and uh, the guy pawned it, said he'd be back. And of course, like so many other people, they're gonna be back. Never came back. Happens. And we're not in the business of uh, classic cars. We know you are, so. I figure you're the perfect guy to sell it to. Yeah, I'll buy it if the price is right. You know, I buy to sell. I'm not a collector. I understand that. What do you need for it, Willie? About 12 grand. I think you can sell this car 15, 16, no problem. I think Willie has a real good idea of what the car is worth. And it's a nice car. I love the old Grand Prix. It's great cars. But that car needs when it needs. It's not worth what the right one's worth. I think, uh, honestly, I'm not going over eight grand on the car. It ain't going to happen or I don't need it. At eight grand, I'm okay. Over eight grand, I'm not buying the car. There's no question it's a nice car. It's not a done car, though. Needs a little bit of help. Uh, not much you know, to make it perfect, you know? Uh, or near perfect. I think it'll do 12 grand when I clean it up. Right. Okay? But I gotta clean it up. I gotta be in this car for like seven. Seven? You're <laughs> seven? beating me up, man. That's... I'm not beating you up. I'm, I'm here, I'm not, I'm not a charity. I gotta make a living or I can't buy the car. Ted's trying to drive me down to 7,000 and I'm more at uh, closer to 12, so hopefully we can meet somewhere in the middle or closer to 10. So he's a pretty pretty uh, easy to get along with guy. I think that we can reach some happy medium that'll work out for him and work out for us. I can't do seven, you gotta do better than that. From 12 to seven, that's, you know. Willie, it's, you know, it needs. He's got no trim rings on the wheels either. It needs, it, you know. I mean, I, I honestly, my max, and I'm done, and I'll shake your hand at eight grand, but I am done. And I'm doing eight because we, we've done business before and I want to do business again. I'm done at eight. You want it sold? Eight grand. It's Can't done. do nine? No, sir. Help me out? No. This car is B9. Eight grand. You're a nice guy. I like you. You're a local guy. Eight grand, that'll work out for us. That'll work out for you. Okay. So tell me the truth. Did you pawn it for three or four? I pawned it for 55. Did you? You're a sporty guy. So you held, you held it for 90 days and you turned it into eight grand. Gee, you poor thing. I think I bought the car worth the money. 69 Grand Prix are real popular. I think if I don't touch the car, it'll do 12.5. I think if I clean it up a little bit, it'll do 16, 18 grand. So I'm safe. I would have liked to have gotten 9,500, 10,000. I know the car needs a little bit of work, 
probably a couple thousand dollars just to get it almost perfect. So at 8,000, if you put the thousand or 2,000 into it, he can still sell that car for 15 grand. He makes five grand, he's good. Robin snuck four giant truckloads of sand in here and built an entire beach. I don't know how she does it, but she does it. Yesterday we had nothing here, now we have a studio with sand and beach balls and everything else, and a client taking pictures and making money. Robin. Shoots are always tough, but as far as shoots go, this one was pretty easy. I'll definitely be back, but I've actually got one last picture I need to do, and it's with Ted and Robin. So Ted, what do you think? I love it. I admit it, that I think it's cool. I think it'll make money. Uh, I... You're right again. Ah, uh, very cool. I feel like Al Bundy. <laughs> I feel like I Love Lucy. I feel like Ricky Ricardo. Oh, well, it works. Hey, Ted, smile for the camera. Let's roll. I'm out of here.